Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Huan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids 1 Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. What? Another purple? Are you serious? Holy shit. First row of the day. Wow. Oh my god. Here we go. Check scroll. Okay. Hey, see? I knew it, man. Arcane was, you know, catching up and surpassing the deck scroll for a while now. So now we're starting to actually even out. Oh yeah. We are. We are actually even, dude. Not bad. For this way, we're doing a full prep. It's got Skeleton, my Room, and Fossa and Ice Demon and Agility. So it's like a pretty short raid, but no overload. So I gotta do a full prep. So I'm gonna do the strategy where I make the bank right now. Take these and we're good. 17 minutes, I guess, to do all the full prep in this raid. So. All right, there it is. A full prep raid. And yeah, we're still under 30 minutes, so. So on the last episode, I recharged my Vibrant Shield and you guys were mentioning where the fossils were. I could use them to recharge the shield faster. So when I first started this grind, I didn't know these fossils actually gave whole charges. I just thought they gave Noom Lights worth of charges. So like, launch would be like three Noom Light charges. So I didn't think about it for too much and I just did my grind. Later on, I realized these fossils actually gave, you know, whole charges. But yeah, I was already like 18k Noom Lights deep. So that's when I moved to the silly skips. So there are three ultimate uses for these fossils that I have. The first one is recharging my vibrant shield if I ever lose the charges for whatever, you know, weird reason. I have enough for five full recharges, so that's really, really good. Second one is I can turn them into the fossil sets so I can get the XP lamps, which can be interesting. I could use that for some uh, skilling or something. And the third option is to turn these into prayer experience completely. There's a method where you can do that. I've never tried that method before. And honestly, out of those three options, I kind of want to try out that prayer method in the future. I mean, prayer is always nice. But yeah, I'm not sure how good it is and all that stuff yet. So that's probably going to be covered much later. But yeah, I think the prayer XP method is probably what I'm going to ultimately be, be doing with these fossils. Just because I'm really curious and I want to see for myself in the future. Oh no, uh oh. I might be dead. Oh, that's so unlucky, bro. Are you serious? Pretty good raid. This is raid 599. And that is it. Number 600 KC at raids. Man, that's insane, dude. But uh, yes, we have finally unlocked the ability to start grinding some TOB to search for our, I believe it is upgrade number eight. That's insane. Already on to upgrade number eight. But with the ancestral top, you know, that we got a few days ago, I'm pretty much uh, committed to going for a tormented bracelet for number 675 KC. So once we hit that and we get the bracelet, we are switching out of void. And we're going to have an entirely new setup for raids. It's going to be completely different, like 50% different because we're going to get rid of void. So that's that's going to be crazy. Can't wait to show you guys. I haven't fully thought of it yet, but we'll, we'll get there. Annoying. Oh my god, when did they do this update? That's so freaking hot. Nice, man. That's so cool. I, I didn't like using the right-click option. Now I can just teleport straight to the surface. Wouldn't work. Has it always been there? I don't, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just dumb. Alright, we're about to do our first TLB. My setup is pretty standard. I mean, just about everybody, you know, starts off with the, the void setup here that I'm using. 
And the accessories, uh, I'm bringing a decent amount for both magic and range. But yeah, um, Dragon Claws, finally we get to use these guys for TOB. That's, you know, one of the biggest reasons why you want to have Dragon Claws. But this setup is subject to change just a little bit. We're gonna join ourselves in a party with the Mary Jane and some other boys here. Got an OG on the team. We'll, we'll see some OGs, you know, from our TOB days from time to time here during uh, the TOB grind. Yeah, I don't have a C Halley though. That, like I don't have it with me. I need to. I need to get one out. I'll, I'll bring it for tomorrow. Or something. Once you enter, you are at risk of death. Of course, of course, brother. Uh, enter and don't ask me again. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Finally, we're gonna put this tentacle whip and all the six whips I have in my bank to good use. Hopefully, they last. Ow, 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 eat up, eat up, eat up, eat up. Ah, shit, shit, no, I died. No, I died. I'm gonna pay a mill. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, just keep barraging, just keep barraging, boys, just keep barraging. No, I'm paying a mill for my pet. Oh, come on, man. Damn. For those of you guys that are new to the Theater of Blood or are not aware, it is one of the highest level pieces of bossing content in the entire game. It consists of the Maiden, followed by Bloat, followed by Nilo Boss, followed by Sodaseg, followed by Sarpis, and then finally Verzik herself. And yeah, you have to defeat all of them in order to claim your loot at the end. In simple terms. The Tentacle Whip is a huge weapon for me because it is my primary weapon for Theater of Blood, so... I use it primarily at Dark Beast Room, Bloat Room, and Verzik herself, as they are uh, weak to slash. And the reward I'm looking for mainly is the Infernic Defender to upgrade my Dragon Defender. And it can drop a bunch of really good stuff like, you know, the Scythe of Vitter, Grazi Ray Pierce, Sanguinity Staff, and just this your armor. I'm just trying to, you know, claw, but I kind of can't right now. Alright, I got it, I got it. Whew, there we go, first raid. First rate completed on here. Hell yeah. That was kind of rough though, a bit. Hell yeah. Ooh, new personal best. New wave completion time. New total completion time. Oh my god. Let's get it. Oh, no purple. That's okay, dude. And getting a uh, first expect. Nope. Feels good, man. Nice. Dude, Sarpus is. Yeah, it's just ridiculous how fast it is. Yeah, it's insane. How much did 1kc take off my tentacle ch charges? Oh, that's a good question. Let's figure it out. One run of the TOB minus the failed one earlier. I used probably 200, 200 charges. Yeah, let's just say every TOB is about 200 charges. 5 TOBs, 1000 charges. 45 TOBs, a whip. I have 7 whips. That's like 300 rates. 300 TOBs, probably. I'm being extra as hell and I brought my imbue heart. <laughs> but at least I have a trident though, so that's gonna help a ton. I should get uh, an extra eh, 3 damage, probably, with the imbue heart, so that's pretty good. Oh, okay. Purple! Capital. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. Second KC. Very nice. Wow, more personal bests. Holy crap, that's crazy. Yo, 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 oh my god. Oh, dude, 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 he's lagging, he's lagging. Eat up, eat up, eat up, eat up, eat up. This public service announcement is brought to you by... Oh, nice. All right, boys, last raid. We're gonna do the dance and, and the twirl, baby. Oh, personal best, really? Nice. Oh, it's because of the sights, yeah. We got the sights. Oh, man, I was right at the front. No purple on my hand. Whoa, what the hell's my character doing? Holy shit, that shit was clipping. Terrible. That ain't that ain't cool, man. Oh, seriously? Purple? That's ridiculous, man. Alright, I don't know when I'm gonna go drive, but it, it's kinda scary that we keep getting these purples, man. What?
Let's freaking do it. Here we go, boys. I knew it! It was a deck scroll! Alright, well, for the first time in a long time, I believe the uh, deck scroll has finally outpaced the arcane scroll. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I'm about to go to Hosidius for my first time uh, since they re updated the whole place. Oh my god, it looks so good in game. I only saw the update pictures. But damn, this is what I'm talking about, dude. Curvy, immersive, not like squares and grid lines, you know. Come on, Firewatch. Catch me. Hello. Send me to the mines. There you go. <laughs> hey, that's awesome, man. I don't even have to, like, wait for them anymore to spawn me. I can just be sent to the mines. Okay, this is going to be pretty much my true setup. I got C. Howley, mainly for the bloat. Alright, we're gonna commit. 1000 XP drop. <laughs> That's dope, man. This is why I bring that C. Halley, right? That's why we bring it, right? Yeah, you were you were basically a baller, dude, if you had a Razor. And then in uh, later middle school, if you had like a sidekick. Another PV? Really? Awesome. Hell yeah, man. 1273. Easy game. Feels bad, man. Oh, another PB? Really? I didn't even get it. I, I swear this one was worse than the other one. Who got it? Really? <laughs> do I do I walk the whole square or? Up to you, man. Open the bitch up. Okay, oh, wait, wait. Okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta start here. We gotta, Everyone has to do a line. A line. Yeah, yeah, we gotta we gotta there do we the go. thing, you know. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous. I hope it's not a scythe. I really hope it's not a scythe. Here we go. What the? <laughs> Surprise! Oh my Jesus god! Christ. No! <laughs> no! This this can't this didn't happen, dude. Didn't happen. Oh my god! I feel so bad. I feel oh. so bad. Dude. You're kidding me. Dude. I honestly don't even feel good about this drop, dude. I really <laughs> don't even feel good about this drop. That is insane. That is insane, dude. My boy Mary J here, dude. He's like 2,000 dry. Oh my god. That was my I... third scythe to see. So, as you can see, I ended up getting way more than what I was initially looking for at Theater of Blood. I thought I was gonna get the Defender, and um, that would have been it for the most part. But I ended up getting the rarest item from Theater, instead of the most common item from Theater as my first item. So. Because of this unexpected event, I've decided to add some additional rules on top of my Raids Rewards. So right now I have uh, Raids Reward rules and my 19 Upgrades rules, right? So there's two major rules sets. So I'm adding on to the Raids Reward rules. So things like the Scythe, the Garazi Rapier, and the Sanguinity Staff that I can get from TLB on this Defender Grind, they will also have a Raids 1KC restriction. So for the Sanguinisti Staff and the Garazi Rapier, I will put them at 750 Raise 1 KC because if I do end up getting it, anything's possible at this point, I want to make sure I set it at a reasonable boundary so that way my character can upgrade towards them appropriately if I do end up getting it. And as for the Scythe of Vitter, I will place it with the same amount of restrictions as the Twisted Bow which is 1000 Raise 1 KC. Since they're both around like a similar power level, but I assure you, once I hit a thousand KC, I will uh, definitely end up using it for the last 500 raids alongside you know whatever weapons we have by then. Fucking end. Yes, got the end. Oh, oh my God, 200 IQ. <gasps> He said he lied. <gasps> like, what the? I landed, I landed, I landed. Yeah, uh, Mary J could come through instead. Oh, my first one of Zami. Let's go. Yes, I can now make range pots and not have to do Kel Fight Queen for it. Feels good, man. Well, congratulations, Mary J, on uh, maintaining a rank one dry streak for a site, at least on an Iron Man. Yep. 
Yeah, go get the cape. Oh, yo, he got the cape already, dude. Put that all on, brother. Oh, here it is, the 2000 KC cape. I've never actually seen it before. Yeah, it looks like, you know. All right, it's got the gold trim, at least. It's pretty dope. Nice. Oh, first one for the day, 30 KC. Let's get it. That's nice. Room play bodies, let's get it. Oh god, oh, I misclicked. Yikes. Yeah. I got you, I got him on B heart. Look at that shit. I'm hitting, boys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally destroying this guy. Three hits in a row. Oh, yes. My second line of damage drop. Bless the RNG lords. Now I can make 100 range bots. Thanks, dude. Damn, that's insane. We just one one pillar this fight. Oh, yo, you got the purple. Let's go. Finally, man. Holy crap. Yeah, it's been 39 raids since the last one, dude. Uh -huh. Here we go. All right, bro. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's okay. Hey, I got an elite with it, too. Help, buddy. You know, got, got an elite with it, too. I would love that help, but let's take it another day. Let's take it another day. Oh. Alright, 50kc though. Pretty cool. Yeah. Your whip has less than 100 charges? Yeah, this is my last. Hey man, I was great. I estimated about 50 rates uh, per whip, and yeah, this whip is pretty much out. Alright, this video took a little bit longer than uh, I would have liked, but uh, packed in a lot of progress in there. And yeah, it took quite a bit of time to edit. Um, actually, I'm gonna plug my Twitch here. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've talked about my Twitch, because... I think it's about time I tell you guys. I've been pretty ahead. Maybe uh, one or two months ago, I was like a month ahead, like four weeks ahead. But now I'm at a point where I'm, I'm only about a week and a few days ahead. So yeah, now the progress between the live streams and the YouTube is not too uh, different. So I feel pretty comfortable now to plug the Twitch. So if some of you guys are interested in watching the live action progress on Farm and Raid, then you can do so on twitch.tv slash ricecoat. I'm on like almost every day for several hours at a time, but if you don't want to uh, watch it and you know, want to keep your YouTube uh, spoiler free, then don't do it. You know, it's only for people that are interested in seeing how things are done live. So yeah, the link is there. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back on with another Fires video, hopefully in five days. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.